Hey everyone, this is Uthris. Welcome back to Let's Play Banished Colonial Charter Episode 6. Um, we're still having a rough time, it seems. And it's progressing a little slower than I really wanted to. Uh, it's pretty much what you guys are watching. It's almost the default game, just minus uh, a, f a few structures so far. Um, like the the meat lockers that we use and uh, shore houses. So far, I mean, it's it's fairly vanilla, but that's okay. It's still a fun game. I enjoy playing this a lot. I just don't know how well uh, received it is by you all. Uh, view counts compared to medieval engineers is a good bit lower so obviously I'm known for this uh, medieval engineers game rather than uh, banish for sure but I think I still I still want to uh, continue this series and uh, show you guys some of the more end game buildings uh, it's just we we're just having trouble getting that initial foothold and uh, being able to expand in terms of size and scope. Last episode I also mentioned maybe playing some Minecraft and that seems to be a pretty well received idea. Uh, that'll be Terraformer Craft, uh, which is basically a total conversion for Minecraft. And I'm thinking about starting that this weekend at some point and then also I'm thinking here next week or this week to I mean medieval engineers is almost done uh, I mean it, it's been going on for about 50 some episodes and we're just kind of running out of room to keep things into a realistic scale I mean yes there's a lot of buildings I could make but if it gets too crowded then the whole balance of the map I think gets thrown off so um, after the next town and bandit camp from there I might do a couple one-off little structures and then go into just a whole bunch of detail and I might do that by just doing a pretty pretty much speed builds for for a bunch of the detailing they're not you know, very entertaining, and I doubt there'll be much commentary for me to give, but I would like to show you guys, uh, you know, finished structures, because for a while, I haven't been really taking them to 100% completion. Uh, the biggest concern right now for the town is tools. It seems to be one of the worst shortages we have. We also have a shortage of herbs, but our health is remaining relatively flat. We have a nice supply of sheep now, producing a fair amount of food actually, about 960 a year, which is really good. It's actually way more than our fishing outposts. I think it's just the weather. It has to be the weather. I mean, this, this one has four people working it and it doesn't even produce as much food as the sheep farm. I don't know what this one's producing, even less. So, fishing docks. Never really a great source of food in the game, sadly. Uh, I could never figure out why. There are mods to increase their effectiveness. But uh, for temporary food and just kind of maintaining, they're okay. They're definitely just okay. Once maybe we get some educated citizens, it'll help out in terms of the overall production of the town. But as you can see, I mean, our population is just too low to even man the ta uh, the mine or the quarry. So, I mean, both of these are sitting unused. We have a lot of people working in foresters positions. I mean, we have 10 out of the, basically a quarter of our population cutting down trees. And then probably another quarter gathering food. Actually, more like a half gathering food, I think. So, we have uh, eight... 12, 
14, 16, no, 18, 19, almost 20 people, which is half our population, um, gathering food. And then we also have probably 10% turning the processed lumber into firewood that we're barely keeping up on. It's just a uh, crazy difficulty in terms of weather. If this was on an easier climate, I bet we would be doing just fine, but I decided to make it hard for myself. Last episode also, um, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, there was a lot of formatting issues and video issues, so that whole episode number four or five, I think five, is basically just a mess. There's no sound at all during the time lapse. There's uh, a whole minute of just a black screen and sadly, just my footage became corrupt and I had to salvage what I could. And, you know, I'm just, I guess I'm sorry for that. It's not really something I was really happy to upload, but I felt like I needed to just because it, it, it took me so long to even salvage what was there. So, I didn't want to go a day without uploading something. And I think the quality probably suffered because of that. Nothing really interesting coming through the trading post recently. It's all been about the same. Just a little bit of food coming through. Population is definitely aging. Uh, very much. As an example, I think there is... I mean, this person... The blacksmith is 51 years old. Uh, we have a 54-year-old forester, a 70-year-old gatherer. That person is going to be kicking the bucket soon. Um, what else? Any other really old people? Forty-two, thirty-four. I mean, uh, our population is definitely getting up there. We're at year 50 now, and luckily we still have about half our population in children, which is a relatively good sign. It means we are growing in general, and when the first generation fall off, the second generation, since we have 20 children, will be able to expand quicker than the first generation did, and you kind of just continually grow. Let's see here. In the mining town, still having trouble kind of clearing the basic land and area around here. We need some more buildings, I think. To increase the priority for structures. Built a gatherer's hut. This will be the food source for out here, and it'll be nice. I'm sure some food will trickle out uh, into the rest of the towns. Shortage of tools, as always. Uh, the food is starting to suffer a little bit because of the lack of tools. And it's snowy again. I almost feel bad for you guys watching this. I mean, uh, it, it rains and snows so much in this save because it's hard weather. That is, I'm sure it's probably pretty hard to watch because it's, it's a lot of grayed out and washed out colors. You guys can't see much of the detail of what's going on. These people are all just hauling ass back and forth. firewood problem not as big of a deal as it was still an issue but it's managed as long as I don't build too many more houses do we even have any more like empty houses whoa 70 year olds down here taking care of bees okay 
They're gonna be dying soon. Damn shame, that. I already gathered up all the iron that was there. We have no more iron. We have four laborers, which is good. Um, it's definitely going to help for when some people start dying off. I'm just going to keep people in kind of the laborer stage and try and gather up a bunch of resources in the meantime. We're kind of having to bunker down and uh, grind out some years. I'm gonna have to assign one of them into a tailor position just so we can keep our clothing supply good. We're gathering a lot of these open iron deposits. Eventually we're just going to have to start expanding towards the lake and where the city is going to be start planting farms I don't even know how well farms are going to do in terms of the weather so I feel like it's going to be a major issue I might make a small farming town here in these woods and I would like to finish the uh, mining town eventually just don't have the manpower yet <clears throat> so about here I'm going to go ahead ooh trading um, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss this and we'll do about a 5 minute time lapse it'll probably be about another 10 years of gameplay it's just uh, going really slow and I'll be back here in a jiffy
Okay, everyone, so this is uh, pretty much what happens when you done fucked up. Uh, it seems our food production is nowhere near where it needed to be, and I didn't notice. Oh, <laughs> and we have a tornado. Oh, great. Um, I was going to mention how the whole... Uh, half of the town is going to start dying off here soon. Um, so pretty much what happens when when you start to run... Uh, there's a tornado. Which way are you going? It's not really going toward the town. Um, so what happens when you get this mass kind of starvation thing happening? You need... To pretty much throw everyone you have into food production and just ride it out. Um, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, besides maybe building another... If, if you had an abundance of citizens, you could probably get away with building a whole other food production and assigning people to it. But when, when you're kind of low on, like, excess workers that like I am... I just kind of throw everyone into food production that isn't doing anything important. So, an example would be, say, uh, a beekeeper isn't as efficient as a gatherer. So, I'm going to move a beekeeper up to a gatherer position. And then, I'm hoping... Just stop with beekeeping altogether. To get another pasture built here and to split the sheep that we have to another pasture that way I mean we get one worker for 640 food is fairly efficient um, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for I also went ahead and built a school and we have two students so far um, when they graduate, they will be uh, much more productive at whatever job they get assigned. Really? Ow. Yeah, we lost the forester. Not important. So, it, it's, it's rough times in Freeport. I don't really know what really exactly went wrong I have a feeling it's because I enjoy building uh, outposts and towns and they're they're far apart from each other it, it can brew some trouble by doing that usually you want to start off with a fairly strong central town and then build out from there I didn't do that this save I wanted to try and bring everything on the outskirts towards the city because we didn't get a really good spawn area uh, I wanted to put the city over here but if we end up wiping this will probably be the end of banished I guess I may have to install terraformer craft and minecraft uh, a little sooner than expected I lost another forester Um, yeah, I got nothing to say about this one. I'm just gonna do... Probably... Eh, another person died. Fisherman that time. What I can do as well is probably do a emergency slaughter of all the sheep that we have. Which will bring us down to four sheep. Uh, do we even have a herdsman? Yeah, we still have a herdsman. Oh, uh, people are dying. People are dying left and right. Come on, hurry up. Kill the sheep. Kill the damn sheep. We don't need them anymore. 
Oh my goodness. You killing the sheep yet? Nope. You're not killing the sheep at all. Where are you? Come on, I have 12 sheep. Kill them. 11 sheep. People are still dying. Another person died. Yeah, it's just gonna continually spread. Uh, this this is pretty much lining up to be a wipe. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just I'm just gonna let it uh, end here. So I pretty much know where this is going, and, and to build back up, I kind of don't even want to do it right now. And thanks for watching. If you guys are enjoying the series, this will be the last one for a while for Banished. Uh, I guess I'll be replacing this with uh, Minecraft here soon. And if you guys are enjoying the channel in general, feel free to subscribe. Check out my Medieval Engineers video. Uh, there's a link in the description for that playlist. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.